That means, Ben, that they have been double-crossed. The man that called you from Egypt on yesterday on the program, Alex, he said that the people in Egypt know that what took place uh, in Cairo was staged. They thought it was staged by the CIA. I'll tell you who it's staged by. It was staged by the people who give me this information. They told me four to five months in advance, and I announced it on Alex Jones' show, that it would happen. Now, I'm telling you it's going to spread. It'll spread to the point that they can't produce their oil. They won't be able to provide it to us. And by the end of 2012, you will see their paper become worthless. They will be livid. They will be so angry against America. Now, how is this going to affect what takes place over here? Here is the plan of the elite. They, in turn, will begin to open up America's oil fields that they have known for years. They have known for 20 to 30 years they existed. They're going to open these oil fields and produce from America's own soil. Why? Because Mr. Fromm said to me back in 1976, never forget the conversation, he said, Chaplain, we will not open the Gull Island oil field and produce it for the American people until we have gotten the price of crude oil to, to, to 150 to $200 a barrel. They will have it $200 a barrel before the end of 2012. In turn, they will become the filthiest rich people you could ever imagine because they'll open America's own oil fields because at that point, the Middle East can't provide for us. The Arabs have been double-crossed. They realize what's happened to them and that they have been had. Their paper is worthless. The oil producers now produce for America's own soil, but watch what happens to China. This is so important. You remember I said to you nearly two years ago that I had been told China is the big you one. You said first the Middle East will flare up, then you won't be watching, but China will be then the big one. China's going to be the big one, and China will not be affected at all. Please most notice this. China will not be affected at all by the crisis that's going to take place in crude oil because China and Russia made an agreement just a matter of weeks ago that Russia, who, by the way, as of last year, Russia surpassed Saudi Arabia in oil production as the number one producer in the world because of their super deep wells, which is a story within itself that BP tried to uh, imitate in the Gulf of Mexico and couldn't. And now China won't be affected at all because Russia has an agreement that they will supply all of the crude oil and natural gas, not just crude oil but natural gas also. So China natural and Russia rising, the U.S. in turmoil, global police state in place, Europe rising. I think I've read this in a book written 2,000 years ago. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? Williams is our guest. I want to go to your phone calls. Uh, yesterday, of course, we were honored to have Lindsay with us for an hour and a half and really give him the floor for large 10-minute chunks to give you the history. Now the latest developments. Now today, we're rushing to get to the new information and then what the elite told him uh, the master plan is. Now going beyond the rise of Russia and China, what else did they tell you about this? Because you wanted to tell the other night when we talked and I just sat there and listened. This decline of the U.S. that's planned, but then they plan to rise it back up again. That is so important. Tell us, tell us the long-term strategic geopolitical ramifications. Well, because of the civil unrest over the Middle East, they will basically be impotent. I mean, they, they will not be able to produce. We begin to produce from our own soil. Alex, we were able to obtain, just within the past 24 hours, a, a, a uh, visual, uh, not only audio, but visual soundbite of the Muslim Brotherhood during one of these uh, sessions, and in, in, I think it was in Egypt, uh, where they actually were crying out, we are going to Israel to kill Jews. Uh, it literally sent cold chills up and down my spine uh, when we got this. And you, you've got to see what's going on. Now, what's going to happen basically is we will begin to produce from our own oil fields. And I want to give in a moment, if I can, how much oil we have, known reserves. But we'll be beginning to produce now from our own oil fields. Anybody in the oil business, you're going to get filthy rich. Anybody in the drilling business, get ready. Get all the equipment you can get. They, When the Middle East can no longer provide, the American dollar collapses, 
The Arabs become extremely angry at us. They have lost their wealth in their T-bills and Federal Reserve issues. We, in turn, begin to produce from our own oil fields. And then at this point, the New World Order basically has everything to where they want it. You've heard me say before that I was told that when the, when the dust settles, they will own every piece of mortgage real estate in the United States of America because people can't make their payments. When the price of crude oil goes to $200 a barrel, you pay uh, $7 and $8 a gallon at the gas pump. You're going to see this, by the way. Gasoline in our area went up 3 to $0.05 cents per day last week right here in Arizona. It's over $4 a gallon in California already. I saw $4 a gallon for diesel when I was in town the other day right here in Arizona. You will easily see 6 7 and $8 a gallon. Think of what this is going to do to the economy. And when the economy gets to that point, you can't make your house payment. They can't make the payment on that shopping center. People won't be able to buy. They'll barely be able to buy food. We'll be relegated to a third world status. At this point, the elite basically will break the back of the American free enterprise system. This is their goal because they only buy things after they've bankrupted it when they can get it for pennies on the dollar. The airlines, the railroads, no matter what it may be, their goal is total control. The name of the game is control. Then we produce from our own oil fields. Whenever they open up all of these massive oil fields in America, the elite will gradually, over a period of years, now not overnight, but over a period of years, they'll begin to bring America back again to the great American dream under their control. It'll be a different world than what we know it today. Their plan is to bring it back again. And whenever they do, they will give us back some of what we have now, just enough to be able to keep the people exactly where they want them. Now, if I can, Alex, may I give a little bit of what we have in the way of crude oil, and I want to tell you the places where they're going yes. to produce it. Yes, Lindsay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, first of all, the U.S. Geological... Now, folks, please, you can prove this for yourself. You'll have no trouble getting this information. The U.S. Geological Service issued a report on April of 2008 that only scientists and oil men uh, knew were coming. They didn't have the slightest idea up until that time. It was a revised report, hadn't been issued since 1995, on how much oil was in the area of the western two-thirds of North Dakota, western South Dakota, and Montana. Here it is. The Bakken is the largest oil discovery since Prudhoe Bay and has the potential of eliminating all American dependence on foreign oil. You don't want to go back and write much of this down afterwards. The Energy Information Administration estimated that the Bakken Reserve is 503 billion barrels. Even if just 10 percent of the oil is recovered, at $107, which it won't be at that point, by the way, I'll add, it'll be $200 a barrel, because this report was back a number of years ago. He said, we're looking at a resource base worth $5.3 trillion. Folks, do you realize that would pay off all of the national debt at $200 a barrel? Let me continue. Uh, when I was first briefed on this, uh, Terry Johnson said, he's a Montana legislative financial analyst, uh, he said that he gave this, by the way, it's in the congressional record. He said the congressman almost dropped their, their lower jaw. Here it is. This sizable find is now the highest producing onshore oil field in the past 56 years, the Pittsburgh uh, Post Gazette said. It is a formation known as the Williston Basin. Now you'll hear the Bakken. You'll also hear the words Williston Basin. It is more commonly referred to as the Bakken. It stretches from northern Montana through North Dakota, into Canada. For years, the U.S. oil exploration, they have known it's there. This is no surprise to the elite. They knew, the major oil companies knew it is there. Now they have the technology. May I tell you what it is? Uh, this, this was just in this report the other day that this gentleman gave me. He said, this is light, sweet, crude. Do you know what that means? They have two different kind of oils. Yes, the uh, well, there's crude oil, and then there's sweet, and then there's the light sweet. You can basically almost not even process or refine light sweet. It can almost go right in the engine. That's correct. With just a little filtration, you could put it right into a diesel engine. The light sweet crude and the back and oil reserve is light sweet crude, and it can be produced. Are you ready? 
hold on, it can be produced for $16 per barrel on our own soil. That is 60 cents a gallon at the gas pump if the elite would give it to you. Did you hear those figures? But you won't get it for that. You'll get it for 7 to $8 a gallon at the gas pump because crude oil by that time will be $200 a barrel. Now, may I go on? There's enough crude to fully full fuel the United States economy, are you ready? Through the year 2041, straight from our own soil. And that's what's, already, dis the that's what's already discovered and on tap now. Yes, that is right there. They know it's there. There's even more. They're ready to tap it. Now, here's the next field they're going to open. It's called the Stanberry. Stanberry. And you'll find it in the Stanberry Report, which was issued on uh, April the 20th of 2006. Here's the report on it. Hidden 1,000 feet beneath the surface of the Rocky Mountains lies the largest untapped oil reserve in the world. It is more than 2 trillion barrels. Here's a report of how much you have there. there. This report is stunning, and they're going to open this field up when they get it to $200 a barrel. We have more oil inside our borders than all other proven reserves on Earth. Here they are, eight times more oil than Saudi Arabia, 18 times more oil than Iraq, 21 times more oil than Kuwait, 22 times as much oil as Iran, 500 times as much oil as Yemen, and it's all right here on our own soil. James Bartis, one of the lead researchers within, in the study of how much oil we have, uh, he went on to say we have more than 2 trillion barrels untapped, more than all the proven oil reserves of crude oil in the world. And this was written in the Denver Post. Now, they know it's there. I'll give you the other two places they're going to open up. They will open up Gull Island in Alaska. I was, my book, Energy Non Crisis, is the only place on the face of the earth that statistics and details are given on this. Uh, secondly, uh, fourth, I'm sorry, the fourth area will be the Arctic Wildlife Refuge. And whenever they open that, now, you say, we can't do that because the ecologists won't let us. Oh, yes, you will. By the time the ecologists don't have any food on their table, along with you not having food on your table, the dollar has collapsed, and the whole economy is in shambles, and the Federal Reserve has basically become a disgrace, and the Arabs have been swindled uh, and stripped out of all of the money that they spent on T-bills and Federal Reserve notes all of these years. At that point, the economy will be in such a condition, even an ecologist and a greenpeacer will be begging for these oil fields to be produced. And this is what I was given the other day by one of the elite and the entire story of what their plans are. You watch it unfold. More and more disruption in the Middle East. All across America, you're going to see problems, folks. This is coming to America. It's not right. just abroad. Yes, Lindsay, I've got, I've, I've got two quick questions, and then I want to go to the calls as we promised. And 